What is going on YouTube? Northeast Ohio Sports Cards here for an impromptu video. Always my favorite. Uh, we're going to talk about the LeBron ankle injury that happened tonight. And I think it's going to have some ripple effects on the card market. So before we get into it, like, comment, sub, YouTube stuff down below. You guys know the drill. Uh, and let's rock and roll. I'd like to keep this one short, but we all know that's not going to happen. So if you guys missed it, LeBron suffered a high ankle sprain tonight. And while this is not going to overall impact LeBron's prices, I don't believe so. Maybe a little dip, but I would buy that dip. It is going to have other effects on the market, I believe. Number one, they're probably going to slide back in the Western Conference for sure. I have the standings, current standings up here on the screen as of Saturday night. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to record this video, by the way. Um, I already recorded the Sunday morning video, and this is kind of, in my opinion, a major deal. Um, so I wanted to get something out there that addresses this. So as of right now, the Lakers are third in the West. However, they are now without AD and they are now without LeBron. As you can see, the Western Conference standings are pretty tight. They're not going to fall out of the playoffs or anything crazy like that, but they could slip quite a bit down there. Um, they could easily drop all the way to sixth, probably without a lot of effort, to be quite honest with you. We will see how this team plays, which means that creates some interesting matchups in the first round of the playoffs and stuff like that looking down the road. However, from the card market perspective, the immediate impacts are this. Uh, the big winner here, in my opinion, is, are you ready for it? The return of the legendary preseason GOAT, Talon Horton Tucker. It is THT time, baby. Uh, I have to imagine, and I could be wrong here, that he is going to get a ton of run uh, during LeBron's absence. And as the hobby has proven back in the fall, it loves itself some THT. So if you missed the selling opportunity window on THT a little while ago, now may be your time. Maybe I'm wrong on this one. I think Horton Tucker is going to get a bunch of playing time. I put my money where my mouth is on this one. I went and bought about a dozen uh, of his optic star stock A's for about 10 bucks a piece. We'll see what happens. Um, but I think THT is the biggest winner here. The interesting angle, the most interesting angle to this is the MVP race. It's wide open now. You know, Embiid was kind of the front runner there for a while. He got hurt. Now it went to Joker and LeBron. Now LeBron got hurt. So is it the Joker is the clear cut MVP MVP favorite? The Nuggets are only 25 and 16, but they're fifth in the West. I think they need to get a little bit higher in the standings for him to be like a super legit contender. So here's how it boils down to me. I'm going to throw some names out there and you guys let me know what you think. Here's the short list. It's Donovan Mitchell. They're the best team in the Western Conference. Chris Paul. They are right behind the best team in the Western Conference, and he is the straw that stirs that drink. The Joker, previously mentioned. Dame Lillard, playing out of his goddamn mind this year, uh, never gets any respect, but has the same problem as the Nuggets. 25 and 16, kind of in the jumble. I would think they would need to get higher in the Western Conference, which could happen now because the Lakers are going to slide backwards. There's no way they stay the third seed in the West with LeBron and AD out. They probably drop, like I said before, all the way down to six. The dark horse in the West is Luka. If the Mavs decide to make a trade and bring him some help and they could put a little bit of a run on and they could get up to like a three seed or something, a long ask, it's a big ask. But if they could pull that off, he's been playing great and he will start to get MVP buzz. Remember, he was the preseason MVP favorite. So don't think that narrative street won't turn back around uh, if he gets there. But once again, the, the team record's going to hold him back. When you hop over to the East, you have the Sixers at the top, but Embiid's out for a while. You have the Nets in the two seed, and everyone's going to run and say Harden. However, I don't think he has any chance with the way that he left Houston. Don't forget, this guy was flaunting COVID protocols at a strip club and basically forced his way out of town in one of the uglier 
trade demand situations that we've had in the NBA. I think that gets held against him and any tie breaking vote is going to go against him because of the way he left there. The real intriguing one to me is Giannis. Uh, the B- Bucks are playing really good. They're 26 and 14, third seed in the East, and his stats are out of this world. His biggest problem is Narrative Street. Narrative Street says he chokes in the playoffs. He's not a good playoff player, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Can't close this, that, and the other thing. He's all regular season all the time. Well, the MVP award is a regular season award. If you look at his numbers, he's probably actually, it's probably between him and the Joker. But Narrative Street's going against him. We'll see what happens there, but he would go into rarefied air if he wins three MVPs in a row. And uh, it's in tomorrow morning's video. Some of his card prices are slowly starting to tick up, specifically his select. So we'll see if this does anything to move his market at all. The only other sneaky one in the East, in my opinion, is maybe Jimmy Butler. The Heat are starting to put it together. They're seven and three over the last 10, and he's been playing really, really good. Um, We'll see what happens there. That seems like a stretch. I feel like there'd be way too many guys in front of him, but. Who knows? So is there anyone I missed off that list or who are you thinking is now the front runner? Is it the Joker? And this is a slam dunk case and we're just overthinking it. Or do one of these other guys have a chance? In my opinion, it's the Joker or it's Giannis with a dark horse of Donovan Mitchell. To me, those are the top three right now. Uh, And if it's Mitchell, his stuff is way too cheap. And if it's Giannis, His stuff is way too cheap because he would be one of the few people to win three MVP awards in a row. So we'll see how this all shakes out. Like I said earlier, the other big winner here is THT. I think he's going to get a ton of playing time. We'll see what his card prices do. So uh, that's all I got for you. Just wanted to crank this out real quick because I'm this is not going to be covered at all on tomorrow morning's video. So we'll see you tomorrow for the weekly recap. Catch you guys then. Peace.